Hello heroes, my name is Jace Fio, and welcome to the How to Hunt the Guide on Dauntless's Bloodshot Shroud. This is one big bird that's not going to show you how to get to Sesame Street. Remember when I said the Shroud was the hardest beastie you would fight? Well, Phoenix Labs just had to up the bar. Outside of escalations, it is found naturally on the Blaze Works Island, and occasionally during events on high-level islands. When the battle starts, there's a high chance that the Bloodshot will make a clone. That only puts us one crow away from a murder on our hands. This copy is nothing to sneeze at. It will use all the same moves as the Shroud, but still hit like a sack of spots. You may as well get used to fighting two behemoths at once, because that clone will almost always be present. When the bird goes airborne, there are a few things that you'd want to do. First, don't forget that your seat can also be used as a flotation device. Second, aim for the bird's tail. Both the single slam and the double slam can be initially dodged by rolling towards the tail of the behemoth. If he's in the air for a short time, he will slam once, but if it flaps in the air a couple times, then it will be double slam. While the bird flaps, take that moment to build your stamina. The first slam is easy to dodge by the tail, but the second one will come faster than you expect. Similar to the shroud, the bloodshot and the clone will traverse the map by waddling around swiping their arms. This can lead to flanking rules, so watch yourself so you don't give the beast advantage on their attack. There is a chance that the shroud will send another clone to glide along the ground. Not only is that one more bird for exotic bird bingo, but we also have a murder of crows. It doesn't help to interrupt this clone, just dodge around it. If the bird goes into a half dab, be ready for the wing to swing out to the side. Similar to the Grinch, the hitbox of the Shroud will grow three times that day. Now to something different from the original Shroud. The Bloodshot Shroud will have these eyes appear above it. When the Bloodshot either hurls puddles of darkness or pounds the ground and scatters them everywhere, occasionally there will be a red one. Stepping in these puddles still give you the corrupted status, but will also make you glow blue. You don't want to glow blue because the Bloodshot is sapping your life. And at the same time, it's creating an eye above itself. Once the there are four eyes above the shroud, the next time someone steps in a puddle, it'll enter ether form. Due to this, the whole game might be in darkness. It's just how it goes. The Bloodshot has enough moves. However, it still has the signature sphere of get out of here. This will drop you down to one HP if it detonates, so let's just all agree, don't let it detonate. Come on, say it back with me, I will not let the sphere detonate. There is one move of note when the beast rages. It's also the only time that you could potentially interrupt this beast. Much like the other birds of Dauntless, it'll glide along the ground. Obviously, it's easier to see when it's a beautiful day outside and the birds are singing, but it can still be done in the darkness. Whether the beast enters ether form from Slayer stepping in puddles or on its own natural wish, it'll spread out its wings, give a guttural cry, and darkness will descend. Sound will also be distorted. You also want to sign up for a refund because that lantern you purchased is not giving off light. I hope this sort of guide thing helps with your hunting. If you made it this far in the video and like what you saw, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribing. The Bloodshot Shroud was requested by many people and I appreciate all your support. If there's a behemoth you want me to cover next, please comment down below. Otherwise, type your favorite cosmetic set. Thank you all so much for watching and heroes. Enjoy your quests.